what about the uh, round of applause for Karen and, uh, and Lisa and everybody and Steve and everybody else. This is our uh, this is our second stop in the arms of the incredible Craig and Brenda O'Reilly. <laughs> Sexy Craig Flynn, but how's it going? The, uh, if you want Craig, once or twice I'm going to say Craig and Brenda Flynn. I'll say that just just to even it out. But uh, we had a great night. Uh, a bunch of us down in the in the bowels of this place uh, the other night, and uh, I wasn't kidding when I was telling people that. When we go upstairs, you'll see further that this is the coolest renovation in the history of downtown St. John's. It's so spectacular. So cheers to you. So let's get it. We'll, we'll sing a song, a song for the house to get us going. So this is uh, this is for Craig and Brenda for uh, for opening their doors to us a few times this week. So, well, I have wandered far too long. My weary bones are heavy spent Now won't you lay me down to rest On a pillow fit for a journey's end Where my own father plowed the ground And he set a table poor but proud Oh, in the house where I was born let my sleep be safe and warm And in my heart so sadly sweet The dream of home The dream of home It touches my soul Too soft to flee And far o'er the sea or land I roam Through all my days in foreign lands through all my dark and distant nights Pictures of you were so close at hand And thoughts of you would fill my mind And though my passage has been long and stay My first affections never fade and Though my course has been oft confused my way has always led to you And in my heart so sadly sweet The dream of home, the dream of home It touches my soul too soft to flee When far o'er the sea or land I roam Now when my story is all but told Sure, let the final chapter tell of victories in lands of gold and how the mighty villains fell. But if I could hope for just one thing, one final chorus I could sing. Well, I'd lift a cup with all my friends and I'd share we made it home again. So sadly sweet, the dream of home, the dream of home. It touches my soul too soft to flee when far o'er the sea or land I roam. It touches my soul too soft to flee when far o'er the sea or land I
uh, in St. John's. And uh, Corey got to start. Well, Corey, I guess the first place. Where would you play first on George Street? Fat Cat or, or Trap Wars or something? Might have been Sundance, man. Then Trap Wars. Then Fat Cat. It's not even a joke, but like the, the first bar you played is, is gone. And uh, yesterday we went down to Fairland. I think I pointed out to you the last time we did that the first place I ever got paid to play music was a bar. It was called the San Juan for a while, then it was called Schnapps. And I'm not making this up, and everybody here who did the trip yesterday saw it. The very first place that I ever got paid to play music is now a coffin manufacturer. So, I don't know what that says, but anyway, this is, we wrote a song for the last record all about our ode to the pubs that gave us that start, and where we, myself and Corey especially, would stand in the corner and, and just sing songs all night long, and do whatever the night wants done, you know, and take, take the audience anywhere you want to go, and, and go anywhere you want with them, and just down the road I pointed one out uh, to the people who were visiting the place called the Rose and Thistle, and uh, then we always call it the Rose, and uh, as I tell the story, you know, I, I played there every Thursday night, started around 1989, I guess, and they started playing there, and we had a happy hour. A few people got to get around, and they got paid $50. And uh, it started to get really popular. And Ron, the guy who owned it, came to me and said, Alan, it's doing so well. I think I'll pay you $100. But get this. I talked him back down to 50 <laughs> Thank God, thank God I'm, I don't do my own bookings anymore. But I'm dead serious. I talked to him back down to 50. I said, I'll keep it, I'll stay for 50 bucks. But you gotta keep happy hour on all night long. All of a sudden, there was a lot of people coming to see me play at the Rose. And as luck would have it, uh, the, the Nellie's was across the street back then. And, and a band called Rankin Street used to play across the street, and I had Sean McCann, Bob Halton, Daryl Power, and a girl named Jackie in it, and, and they used to come, they were so, they had a really busy band, and they used to try to get away from their crowd. <laughs> when they took a break, so they used to come over and see me. <clears throat> and uh, they saw me playing at the Rose and Thistle. They figured I had a decent crowd. So we did, and when they uh, were starting the new band, uh, they asked me to be in it. And so without the Rose and Thistle, on the Thursday night and the $50 gig, quite likely there'd be no great big C and none of us wouldn't be here tonight. So, cheers to the Rose.
Kuba and Jill up in uh, Fairland yesterday uh, at the Fairland Lighthouse picnics about building a Ron Hines memorial in Fairland. And I thought, what a wicked idea. And uh, they got a plan and everything. So we might be coming up. We might be coming after somebody to help us build a Ron Memorial. <laughs> For those who are visiting from out of the province and who may not know, legendary songwriter and artist uh, passed away way too young. Uh, icon and to us, uh, Ron Hines, and one of our favorite athletes. And, uh, you know, kind of, for, for people like me who, you know, want to write songs for a living, you know, Ron was the first guy to tell us that we should write our own songs, you know, don't try to sound like you're from, uh, you know, Los Angeles and go writing songs about fast cars and big highways, because we don't got none of them, and, uh, <laughs> I'm serious, and it was just like, it was a cool lesson to learn, because trust me, if someone hadn't told me that, <laughs> I would have been writing White Snake songs. <laughs> so I was grateful for him. So the, the guy we're talking about occupies, you know, a very special place in the, in the province, and, uh, and certainly, um, for me, uh, it's always just like a voice of home, you know, for many, and, and uh, the first time I was in Nashville, uh, right around 2000 or 2001 or something like that, early 2000s, uh, was, I was away, I wasn't with the band, I was, I left the, like we had a day off, and instead of going, having the day off in, I think it was in Texas, I, I flew to Nashville to write songs, and, uh, and I, with Gordy, my friend Gordy Samson, and, and, my, and, and uh, they work a lot, you know, he had his family, home was there for a few days, and it turned out I had a night off by myself in a hotel room, which might sound weird, but I don't I usually be by myself on the road. It certainly wasn't then, and I wasn't used to it, and, and I was at this cheap uh, motel on DeMondrian Street called Com the Comfort Inn, and uh, I remember just being there at six o'clock going like, I don't like this, <laughs> I don't like me by myself. And I got kind of homesick and lonely, and I wandered up to an Irish bar on top of the street. And I went in, and uh, what comes on the radio about Ron Hines singing Sunny Stream? And because the Irish crowd like to think it's one of their songs. <laughs> you can imagine what uh, Duncan behind the bar thought about me telling them it wasn't one of his, but it's a story for another day. Anyway, I wrote this song. Uh, with Gordy a little while ago, just really about that night and how uh, how Ron and a and a drink saved me. Well, I'm no one in Nashville. I got nowhere to be, and this cheap comforting is no comfort to me. But it's close to the road, and they rent by the week, and this high is a long way from home I'm just another lone rider on a long lonesome list running on empty and chasing a hit to the bar on the corner to give me a lift and the two things that I need the most give me a chance and a Newfoundland song So I won't be lonely And it won't be long Till I'm dreaming with Sonny And drinking with Ron And I'm getting so high I'll forget that I'm gone Give me a Tennessee whiskey And a Newfoundland song My uncles could see me, or maybe they'd be impressed. But this town can give it as good as it gets, and there's a dozen of me at the door. Dream. 
for a couple of years now, actually. It's going to debut at the Charlottetown Festival next summer. Yeah. And I'll, they, they, this is one of the songs from the musical. And, and just for the context, the, the sort of the uh, the broken hero of the uh, of the musical sings this song. about what's most important to him. I never knew my old man He disappeared without a trace I never felt his hand upon my face I never saw him smiling I never sat up on his knee He never sang a single song to me
Shakuri plays guitar for the Devils all the time. With a fiddler always comes in.